All the engines were in the shed. They had to shut their own coaches ever, ever since Thomas and Toby started working on the main branch line. Hey, Thomas, wait up! It's not fair! It's not fair! grumbled Gordon. Ever since Thomas and Toby got their own branch line, we have been stuck here being forced to shut our own coaches. It's absolutely disgusting. Especially for a splendid engine like me. Oh my god, James, shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid paintwork. Well, uh, I'm okay with it. God damn it, Henry, you're such a fucking outcast. Now I gotta go shut my own express coaches. Alright, let's go. Whoa! Whoa! Explained. Oh, the indignity. You know what, said James. Let's go on strike until the fat controller gets us another smaller engine. Well, uh, I really can't say that I agree with that. I'd much rather get on with my work. So, Edward, hold on to the turntable. However, unknown to Gordon, all the passengers were really, really pissed off for the fact that Gordon was late to pick them up. Don't blame me, said Gordon. Blame the fat sod who runs this joint. Gordon went on the turntable and was very careful not to spin around like last time. Okay, I need to go this way. Oh. Well, off I go. However, by the time Gordon had arrived to drop off his passengers, he was too late. The fat controller soon stood before Gordon. Now, Gordon, I understand that you bigger engines are still getting used to the fact that Thomason, that to that no little engine shunt your coaches. But tonight I will seek another one. I'll get you another small engine to shunt your coaches. Don't invest in another small engine. I'm currently off the fucking track. The fat controller arrived anonymously by rail, thanks to, thanks to a local railway letting him borrow their engine to arrive in. The fat controller looked at all the engines there, but took a liking to one under a small blanket. The, the mechanic owner in the place said, Ah, oh, he's small, he wouldn't be a good steamer. But when they was lifted off, the fat controller met a wonderful engine. Well, what's your name then? said the fat controller. Peter, Peter sir, but, it, but Percy for short. So, the fat controller drove Percy all the way back to Sodor. Percy had left to go get acquainted with the other engines. Hi, I'm Percy, he said. All the engines noticed how he was kind of like... Am I the only one who thinks he looks like a peg? said James. Well, you're not the wrong... you're not the only one. All the engines started ridiculing. They went. Based on his appearance. Go back to the pigsty, you fat bugger. Percy was quite upset. So he puffed silently to a cold cider. Uh, he went. All the other engines don't seem to like me. Don't worry, said Edward. They're just in a bad mood. Tell you what, I'll do something. I'll get Toby to help. So, when the big engines were all fast asleep, Toby pulled up and rang his bell. What the? Who? Oh, wait, what was that? <laughs> Toby, you got that jackass! On that day, Percy made a good friend in Edward. <laughs> and we all learned that the engines are afraid of bells. Uh, I could tell you about how I got my branch line, but that's a story for another day.